Hi everyone, thank you for coming to watch and I hope you all are doing well today. In this video, I am going to be testing a craft kit. Wait, that's the back of it? Take two. In this video, I'm going to be testing a craft kit. Great news, last week I actually ended up purchasing over a dozen, over 12 new craft kits for content on this channel. Different things that I've never tried before here, so stay tuned. I also do want to add new series into the mix once I get my life together. Lots of surprises coming up. But now back to this kit. It is called I Do 3D. I am Weasel. Where are my 90s kids at? Ooh. Oh my gosh, the biggest butterflies were just outside the window. This is actually one of the few kits that I did not order recently. I found it over the weekend. My fiance and I went to Michael's after dinner because I was made aware of these yoga skeletons and I had to get one. I also got some other decor, which disclaimer, I am not ready for summer to be over at all, but I am very excited for my Halloween and fall decor. Like my house is going to look amazing. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll put photos of things on there uh, occasionally. So we were shopping at Michael's and the decor section just happened to have clearance at the end of all this random stuff. And I had wanted to try this a while back. After I saw this orange sticker, 1997, marked down from 59.99. I'm like, why not? Why not? A part of me doesn't have high hopes for this because there were three or four of them in the clearance section, I believe, and it's marked down a lot. So I don't know how this video is gonna go. Maybe terribly, but you'll just have to wait and see. Where's my scissors? Oh, they're over here. Without further ado, let's dig in. Instructions. Really, this packaging is so extra. These are bungeed in elastic bands. Molding plates. These are actually pretty heavy duty. I expected them to be a little bit lighter than this. The honey one reminds me of Pooh Bear. That's actually cute. This bag of stuff, which we'll get into soon. And the 3D print shop machine itself in the flesh. This button is actually pretty uh, satisfying to push. You have to unscrew the part where you put the batteries in. Not to complain, but I'm going to complain because I hate when products do that. Just make it a little latch so I can get it off without a screwdriver. Hashtag lazy, hashtag unnecessary. Okay. Also, isn't it fun when you realize that you're down to three AA batteries in the pack and you need four? I have this oddball. I don't think you're supposed to mix batteries, but we're gonna mix batteries. <laughs> Let's go ahead and print something. Step one, move, switch to on position, check. There are 16 steps illustrated on the instruction sheet for working with a pre-made mold, which is what I'm going to demonstrate for you all first. Also, here's an up close shot of all the accessories that are included in the kit. Let's continue the printing process. Step two, remove the clear cover, which technically is like a see-through transparent lime green, but check. Step three, pull the plunger as high as it will go. Do not lift past the max marking. Check me check. Step four, choose your color and screw on the tip. Step five, install the ink canister in the print shop, which this gave me more trouble than it should have. Um. <laughs> I accidentally
accidentally didn't pull the plunger up high enough because I thought the max fill line was that white mark on the inside, but actually it's this blue mark right here on top. So yeah, don't make that mistake. What the heck? Oh, there we go. Step six, I am inserting the pre-made mold, which is a teddy bear, into the mold holder. And step seven is to insert the pre-made mold holder into the print shop like this. Step eight, turn the handle to raise the platform for the pre-made mold. And this really isn't turning the handle, you just kind of flip it upward. Step nine, hold the fill lever down until the mold is completely filled with ink. But for this part, do make sure that the cap is off the ink. I did not, so I had to redo that step. I didn't want it to do that. Huh. And freeze. I'm gonna make you guys wait a couple minutes to see the results of this printing process. We're gonna see now what's up with the Formula 4D. I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to make your own mold basically and see if that even works. For this, I'm choosing a molding plate and honestly, there's only a couple that are 3D so we're gonna go with the honey pot. Most of them are flat and I'm not a fan of that. Didn't even mean to rhyme but I do it all the time. Okay, no, I'm done. So <laughs> after I chose the plate, I went ahead and prepared some hot water in a microwave safe bowl. Then I ripped off some of the Formula 4D and basically just warmed it in the water to kind of melt it down and make it moldable. Once it was workable enough, I just stuffed that into the contraption here, which is to clone your old mold maker. Why was that hard to say? Clone your old mold, oh, old? Clone your own, <laughs> clone your own mold maker. Whoa, where do I even begin? So 30 seconds was not enough to heat the water and you can't leave it sitting for too long. So me filming in between, it cooled off too much and it wouldn't really mold into the uh, plate like it wouldn't go around the shape and I had to reheat the water way more than 30 seconds probably like a minute and 30 seconds and at this point it was really really hot and you have to be very careful because it does say don't touch the water with your fingers well I had to at some point like even after fishing it out with the spoon I still had to touch the mold maker to put it into the container and got some water on my fingers very very hot <laughs> It never said how much of the Formula 4D to use. You need to use all of it and use half for one side of the capsule and half for the other. Also, after it is complete, it's not going to fit into the mold holder at all. You'll need to trim pieces away and it just like, you have to trim more than you would even think. It does not slide all the way in there. Also, it is a little bit softer than the plastic or like the mold compound that they use for their pre-made molds. So they don't give us the good stuff, even though it is really good. I think, wait to see if it actually works in the machine. Now back to the pre-made mold. Hold the fill lever down until the mold is completely filled with ink. And it's kind of hard to tell. I guess you just kind of wait until the ink stops flowing. Step 10, lift the plunger to top position to stop the ink flow, AKA pull it up all the way. Step 11, replace the quote unquote clear cover, AKA lime greenish. And step 12, you're going to push the top button to turn on the curing lights. What do you mean the top button? Isn't that the outside blue button that's on the bottom? Huh. Lights will flash after 90 seconds. Larger pieces may require longer curing time. This is sounding like resin, as I had suspected. 
expected after I open the ink. Wow. I'm gonna be disappointed if it just kind of ends up being a glorified mold maker. How is UV resin 3D printing? I decided to cure mine twice just in case it was a quote unquote bigger project. I have no idea what they mean by that. Like obviously some are thicker than others, but anyway, it was in there for a total of three minutes as opposed to just the minute and a half or 90 seconds. Step 13, now that I am disappointed, remove the mold from the print shop. Oh man, I'm kind of concerned because it looks like it overflowed, but I guess we'll see. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Yikes. What? Step 14, remove the mold from the mold holder. It's still gooey. And let it cool down. Place the mold in cold water to speed up the cooling process if you so choose. You can put it in some ice apparently for a few minutes. Ice water. I don't know. I'm not gonna do the ice because it feels cool enough. I'm just gonna take it out. Step 15, remove your project from the mold. What a mess. And step 16, finally, trim flash. It's really, really cute, but oh, geez. So messy. What is flash? Trim flash from your project? I guess the top part, that little <laughs> thing, is called a flash. What? You may need to ask help from an adult to use scissors. Oh, please, mom, can I use some scissors? All in all, this is basically a glorified UV resin kit mixed with a little bit of mold making. A glorified mold maker. And I don't believe that it is worth $60, but maybe if you see it for $20 and you think it looks interesting, go for it. I just think you might have more fun with a UV resin kit that you can purchase from Amazon. I'll link one below, the one that I tested in a video a few weeks ago. Also, there are some really great mold putties at craft stores that you can try out. They are kind of expensive, but you can use a coupon. So yeah, basically what I'm getting at is I don't really recommend this, but I don't know, it tried. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know. I post a brand new video here every single Friday. Subscribe and check out more videos in the iCard up here as well as some of these over here. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye.